Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Got a good one for you today. I'm going to get into Xander Zayas, Damien Sosa, and the next chapter of the Puerto Rico versus Mexico rivalry. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media, the Boxing Bookie. Uh, comes at you for every single fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Guys, please join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that little ticker below. As you can see, just $5 a month gets you the absolute best gambling advice in the boxing world. There is no one in the world who can do this better. My record speaks for itself. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, also, join the Patreon. $5 a month gets you the absolute best gambling advice in the world. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you asked to bookie anything. It gets you uh request a video. It gets you the updated prop bets. Like the, the props for this fight isn't out yet. When they do, come on over to the Patreon. Join for just $5 a month. We'll show you how to make a ton of money. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on Pro uh Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, y'all. Xander Zayas, the Puerto Rican sensation, fan-friendly fighter, a really great guy, nice guy, and a hell of a fighter. Uh, I just want him to fight Virgil Ortiz already. I want that to be, be a thing. Xander Zayas is a hell of an offensive fighter. Um, sits down, asserts himself, front foot heavy, comes forward, aggressive, Throws hard, violent shots. Goes to the body exceptionally well. He's one of the best body punchers in the sport. Mixes up levels well, head body. He mixes it all up pretty well. Uh, terrific body puncher. Pretty good athlete. He punches with you. He punches in between your punches. This guy, this guy's a top-notch offensive fighter. His jab is, is shotgun, hard jab. A great chin. Hard combination puncher. Good, precise combination puncher. Quick release. He's explosive. And his release is super quick. He comes out, yeah, he's explosive. Good feet. He gets in and out. He can cut the ring off on you. He cuts off the ring exceptionally well. He doesn't let you out. He stays on you. Comes in behind his jab. He works his angles. He's not straight in, straight out. Good fighter. He's been taught well. Relentless come forward pressure fighter. Just relentless. Hard shots. This guy's a killer. Straight right is murder. The straight right hand, I, I love it. He throws it to the head and the body. Really, really relentless offensive fighter. A lot of times his relentless offense is his defense. You know, his offense is his defense at times. He's not a bad defensive fighter. He can make you miss a little bit from close range and stuff. And he can pick, picks up shots. But his MO, his MO is, is, is his offense. His, his offensive firepower is just a ton to deal with. Like it is so much to deal with. He's such an, an aggressive, hard-hitting fighter. Great jab that sets everything else up. He's a top-notch fighter. Um, Damian Sosa. You know, I just remember that by a fight, I said this fight should be close. You know, while this is the tape, this fight's not close. Now, not that I ever thought he was much of a threat to win, but I saw the odds, you know, minus 2,000 at one point for, for um, Zayas. And I saw it's much too wide. Looking at it, really watching the tape, it, it, it's it's actually kind of not too wide. So say it's long and slow when he uses his jab. Careful from the outside. Um, Likes to be at range, high guard, good volume, you know, good good volume, not a puncher, not super fast. Good gas tank, though. Really, really good gas tank. He, he could keep that punch out, but up. Durable guy. Long, good reach. His feet are a mess, though. Has a nice jab. He gets a little, he has a nice jab, but he gets sloppy with the rest of his stuff. Setting up his jab. At that, he gets a little sloppy with the rest of the stuff. He, he uses his reach. He fights long. He likes to fight on the inside. He's not particularly good at fighting in the inside. I, I don't think fighting on the inside is, is going to do him well in this fight. He's straight in. He's easy to hit. He's easy to hit. He stays behind the high guard. His head is on a line. And for an offensive fighter, he's fighting a good offensive fighter. He's just... You know, he, he beat Marcus Valle, a, a, a decently touted prospect on a pro box card. And I'm watching, like, how? I, I thought Valle beat him clearly. It was a competitive fight. 
And I'm wondering, how is he even really competitive in this fight? I, I just don't see what's making him effective. I, I, if I'm scouting this guy, I don't really like anything about him. He looked like a totally different fighter. He was more athletic and fluid in that fight with Valle. But still, I, I'm not seeing anything that really scares me in any way. Blue collar type worker, good volume, good pressure, sloppy, slow, and not a big hitter. And he's not a great defender. I mean, it's just not, I don't see how he has much of a chance. I, at first, I just remember that he beat Valle. So I was like, oh, this is going to be a decent fight. It's not. I, I, I don't, I'm not sure how he won that fight. I don't think he won it. I don't see this going well for him. I, I do think he gets stopped. Let's take a look at the let's take a look at the, at the props here. You know, he's durable. And that helps. Let's take a look at the bets here. Right now, all we have is the money line. Like I said, I, I do like him by stopping. I've, I've changed my mind. If you watch my live stream the other day, I was eh, maybe the distance, so is good. Nah. And, and minus two thousand on draft King isn't great. Uh, this is a great bet to add to your parlay, though. It's, it's guaranteed. There's no props out on this yet. There's still no props. On. I, I, I would like Zayas by stoppage, uh, but Zayas on the money line right now is minus 2000 $100 bet would make you $5. That's what it is. It's it's that kind of fight. Yeah, he's going to win. He's going to dominate. You know, this is obviously a step backwards from Teixeira's, an easier fight for him. I, I expect a stoppage here. Let me know what you guys think. It, again, not going to make much on this, but this is something you can add to your poll. Like, just bring your, bring your odds down a little bit. Easy money. And then when they do have props, hop on over to the Patreon. Look at the Patreon. Um, go to the Patreon. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take the Zayas by stoppage uh, prop, most likely, depending on what it is. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, it's an easy one today. Zayas by stoppage. Good bet to add to your parlay. Uh, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, all forms of social media. It is September 23rd, uh, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.